Hi. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, actually, I have other um, goodies to present to you in Buddha Style Magazine. And this is the month of August. August. So, um, it has uh, like 32 pattern that you can actually uh, check out with me. Please go ahead and um, take your popcorn, chips, or anything you want to drink, coffee, tea, and sit down and let us look at this magazine together. It's exciting. Right. So, again, this is the overview of this magazine. You can see very beautiful dresses. And most of them are also very simple. Um, beginner friendly pattern. It is gorgeous. Okay, so this is it. Let's go go through it now. This is, this is a very good. This is a, this top. It's what the presenter here and the and and this uh, this blouse is very well. I think the blouse is a kind of because um, the the neck area has a kind of uh, it's a high neck area, but it's been with um, with elastic. That's how they do it. Just elastic running in the art, and so I just had to make this. Color, it's nice. And another way, if you don't want to do that, you can also do the color. They put a white elastic on it. And then you can also have this effect. That is just my idea. So you can do that as well. So it depends on what you want to do. And you can see the sleeve as well. If you look at the diagram very well, you can see the sleeve. It has um, a band and has a, uh, it has a nice curve and a button. So that side they make it. It's very nice. And um, you can use flisco, you can use um, this mist fabric, you can use polyester to make something like this. It's nice, very good. The size is 36 to 46 and it's very easy. And so we have this um, top, which is 36 to 46 as well. And you can see the top, the way they design it here. And they use the same fabric though to create the same credit design and for kind of um, ideas I could use something like contracting fabric to actually put here yeah <coughs> to put top here because it's already been like divided into three I could use even three kinds of fabric to actually do it like this one two three and then I will use the same another color to do this sleeve or the same color to do that so it's nice, very end, it's endless um, style you can create with this pattern. It's also, uh, it's not a beginner friendly pattern these days, but I think it's easy to do because all you have to do is just to cut the pattern and um, just sew it. So I just like this, it's nice. And you can use 100% um, uh, polyester to do it. Or another kind of fabric to do, you can use African print fabric to do it. You can even use like a leather or leather look fabric to actually create something like this. And you can also extend the top down to make a dress out of it. So you can do it. It's nice. Right? Okay. You can see this is um, um, beautiful. This stuff is being combined the top and the dress and the skirt. And a dress with tie. You see, it's also very nice, easy um, dress. Very simple for beginner. And also has a pocket. So this also this skirt has been presented here. And this this skirt is unique. You can see how it is. And amazingly, it is for beginner. It's beginner friendly pattern. So it has a zipper at the back, of course, and two pockets. So you can see the way it looks. It really looks nice. Size 36 to 46. I love it. I love it. So the fabric can use 100% uh, uh, Frisco, polyester, whatever you like. I think African print fabric would be good for this. So yeah, yeah, we don't know, but you can always try what you like. Okay, this is a beautiful um, skirt. It's a uh, use a. Uh, then a fabric to actually do it. It's nice. It's a bit advanced, and the reason is because of the 
pocket that's where the the star of the zandites here has been um do you have to do that yourself and also the bread that has been created as well you have to put the the the, the holes here on it yourself so it's a bit complicated things to do but you can do it because you can choose not to put this patch of the star here or you do something else you can do like iron on or patches something like that and uh, it's very simple to do so you can make it so this is also something uh, the same skirt like that same skirt design it's another fabric it has open here so you can do that and um, excuse <coughs> me um, uh, this is the diagram of the skull so it's a bit advanced level but I think with time you can able to do it so you can use like uh, cutting fabric to do it you can use um, other kind of fabric that you actually like to do it you can use this type of fabric like wool or things like that and you have a jacket just on top that you can actually wear it as a blouse jacket and you see how it, it has a zipper easy to wear and then the pocket in the front you can see the pocket this is really design um, outfit you design it yourself you put another contracting fabric to make your pocket so it's nice so this is also another beautiful dress i love this dress you can see how the the neck area just falls down it's really very nice i love this so this um dress is also beginner friendly pattern 36 to 46 actually you can use 100% uh, polyester to make this dress and uh, you make sure you have a dress that, that a fabric that you use that will make the neck a bit to fall to really look beautiful you know so you can use something like uh, yeah like fabric or uh, something that is a bit um, warm to use you can use light woolen fabric to actually make it I think it will you can still have that effect of that of the neck area but I love it I would love to try it out I really love this you see the sleeve it has a zipper at the back so when you look at it very well you can see the side the diagram the waist area has the form of gather there top and the back as well so it looks um it looks really very simple and elegant they have this uh, top it's a very nice uh, um, shirt it is very nice you can use um, um, nice um, let's say acrylic fabric to use the uh, polyester to actually just for a frisco something like that you can use for it but then if you are concerned about this opening you can close it up when you are sewing your, your outfit together you can close it up or you just have singlet to wear under it to contracting singlet so that your bust area does not expose if you don't like that but if you like it like this okay then you leave it like that all right so this is sweater it's also very simple 36 to 46 that's this and you can see the like kind of have a kind of puffy sleeve with uh, uh, band in the wrist it looks good just uh, really nice nice this is for the cold weather this is a very nice um um you can say waistcoat or the vest it's very nice and with um zipper it's very good and it, it has a pocket and if you look at it very well even this side pocket do have also a zipper on it so it looks good and the fabric looks gorgeous so you can see this is how it tastes really so the, and then you have a skirt on it and this skirt is also quite good it's a really designer skirt as well with zipper on it so it's a way that you can as well design you can use all this fabric to, to make it so this is also a very nice blazer that i actually love it has um three buttons and you can see the breast pocket and the hip pocket or the waist pocket very very nice has all those golden uh golden uh, buttons so when you look at it very well it has form of red 
edges to the pocket and the button holes is been made with red uh, thread and the edges those are just uh, red fabric there so it is not beginner friendly pattern at all so you need some uh, little experience to be able to create this blazer but if you do it's really really beautiful you can see how the color that is being put in made this blazer to stand out so it is 36 to 46 so this is how you can combine it combination is good all right so so it's also a shirt it's a kind of for a very simple beginner friendly pattern it's right now so you can use this uh, trickle fabric to actually do it it really, really looks uh, beautiful and there's the pants that she's wearing with it it's also beginner friendly for her so you can use like um, jogging pants fabric to actually do this the style is, is really beautiful so you can use the uh, chico fabric do it. so this is also another this is uh, another hoodie this is a very beautiful hoodie i actually like it and if you look at the the sleeve they kind of plated here by the uh, hip, uh, by the uh, bicep area i love that style it's been plated there so it's nice so it is beginner friendly pattern so you can get the jogging um, fabric to make um, to make this and as well for the pants. Then if you can do that, then you are good to go because this is really very very simple pattern for beginners. Okay. But then you have this uh, sweater, uh, 120 um, pattern. The size is 36 to 44. It's also beginner friendly for it's nice you can uh, use a legging to wear it just casual just like that at all as a um, neck area the high neck area you know it's comfortable look really beautiful you know so you can make that it's beginner friendly for so for just chill out at home with um with all those uh, you know the cold day is very nice yeah. so uh, this is also another beautiful um, blazer it's been uh, presented this blazer is nice it's an advanced it is for advanced level have just the body and you can see it's advanced level in the sense that this pocket just kind of flip up a pocket it, it is you need some knowledge to actually do this pocket yeah that is why it's advanced but by now if you are watching my video from the start by now i think you will be professional so you can make all this <laughs> okay so this is a very nice dress i really love it very for the cold season for the cold season is very nice it's like uh, you can use the knitted fabric to do it we use a uh, kind of woolen fabric to actually do it it is very nice oh, it is really really very nice you can use this um, jc fabric to actually do it it's nice you now they have this double uh jc fabric you can use to do it so it is it has a zipper at the back and that's there and then you have a split at the back or you can read the split if you want and then just sew it it is really very simple to do this beginner friendly pattern okay so this is um let's see it's also a kind of um, advice for let me see okay this is a nice dress this nice dress this is actually for like 36 to 44 so when you look at this dress it has waist area it has a series of um um, elastic that is being sewed through and that gives a kind of um, shape on the waist area then you have a pocket you know and then with the sleeve you also have an uh, elastic at the at the wrist area it's nice it really looks good it's simple it's for 
beginner friendly pattern so you can use something like a jogging um, fabric to do it trickle fabric to do it knitted fabric as well to do it it's really very nice so the coat is in and then look at the shoes those shoes are really very beautiful but this shoes is for your office it's not for art because when you work like this then the coat is in you'll be very good so this is all what you for the summer time for the summer is the summer is going so this is a beautiful uh red um outfit that i actually like it has you can see the the shirt is very beautiful as elastic the wrist area it has two breast pocket button and it has this secretary um uh, tie, you know, which, which is really nice. I love it. So this high test. So this is the the blouse. I can actually um, use the blouse. You can easily make it. It's a bit advanced because of the pocket and so on and so forth. So it's a bit advanced, but you can do it. It's really very nice. So it's 36 to 48. Yeah. You can use the uh, polyester to do it. And you buy some nice, beautiful buttons uh, one thing that when you are making your outfit you can just see the old dress you don't like anymore if there is a beautiful button there you can just take it out that is how you make your old buttons to your new dress i was actually uh talking to to a dear friend uh, yesterday last night and she was she has a, this beautiful um the dress she has, a jacket and a skirt. And then she said to me, so it's actually beautiful. She said, oh, I don't have it for a long time, but it was, uh, I bought it from the market. But it has changed color over the years, but you don't really see. If she didn't say, I will know, because I was not there when she bought it, so I don't know how this style normally looks like. But it was still very classic. It was nice. And then she make it herself. And then she told me, you know what? I this button that I pulled, I actually it was from old dress I don't like anymore, so I just remove it and put it in this blazer. It was very nice. And that color really fits that blazer. It was very, very good. So those are the ideas that you share to your friends and things like that. So it's not every time you want to make a dress you have to look for a button so what you do is that you have you have to have a kind of box that you have all your buttons you just put them there the clothes that you want to uh upcycle when you want to throw away you just um put all those things remove all those buttons or even fabric that you want to use for small projects like making uh, cards those type of things if there's a button on it or a zipper, just remove it, make it beautiful, and put it in your box. So those are ideas that I'm giving away today. So you can just put it there. So whenever you 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 need something, you can just go there and get what you need. Or maybe you are making a project for someone, maybe a friend, and you don't you just want to minimize the cost of what you are doing. You go to your box buttons. You check out your buttons there or your zipper zip box you get something there for that project so that's what i do so you guys should do instead of you uh, getting rid of your clothes like that you just keep those buttons all right okay so this is a very nice uh, um dress as well it looks good you can see the back the back for me is a bit too deep so if i should make something like this i could like to have um, uh, something under it that can cover a bit of my back but on the other hand you can do it without you can do it just exactly how it is like this and then if you think that it make you uncomfortable so you can wear a blazer on top that is also something you can do but for the rest it's a very beautiful dress a beginner friendly product and uh, you can use this type of style is endless you can even use satin fabric to do it you can use different kind of fabric to actually do it you can see how elegant it is here she's on a trip with her red shoes and red uh, suitcase 
So it has, you can see it has a split at the side. And it can work properly. It really looks good. It really looks good. So, um, why not? So it really looks good. So that is it. But this is also another beautiful dress I really love. It has a preset that in the front, preset that. Okay. And also at the back, it has it. That's it. Just preset that here and here. A bit over your waistline. So it looks gorgeous. It really looks good. Both front and back. And then it has a zipper at the back. And when you look at the yeah. side very well, you can see that it has a v-neck area. It has a, it's a v-neck area, but it's a bit not straight to the to the chest area, to your chest area, with a bit um, to the other side, as you could say, a little bit shifted. So it is nice to try it. It's very good. I love it. I really love it. So you can um, actually um, make this beautiful dress a bit advanced but it's okay you can do it because there is nothing complicated or that much on it all right all right so uh then we have this uh sweater the sweater is also quite it's, it's a classic sweater though classic sweater because if you look at it you see the the sleeve the way they design the edges of the sleeve it looks nice it's a beginner friendly pattern as well you can do you can see just like that. So you can do this for your casual wear or things like that. You know, it's nice. So this is another um, jacket, something like a mental jacket, something like that. You can see the you can see this uh, the pocket, the way they design the pocket. So this is a little bit advanced level. Look at this pocket, you know. And the way they actually design it has a two, um, you know, just a single um, button. It's really very beautiful. You know, there are some days that um, the weather is somehow and you are going out. So you are not wearing your jacket. You can just take this out from your closet and put it on with your dress. This is what this is. I have something like this. I have different color. I have green. Um, olive color i have black it is really very nice so just take that and when you get where you are going you can pull it out you can put it somewhere or you can even wear it as a decorative whatever you know it is nice yeah you can even make it like uh, you can make short of it you can make short like a blazer or whatever it is so i love that so, so this is also another um Pants, the size top to size 48, so 36 to 48. It really look nice because if you look at it, it's like the, the 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 band is really very. The waistband is really quite wide. It could be like 50 centimeter or like that wide. So it's really quite wide. So it is nice. And then you have um, at the back you have a uh, web pocket at the at the front. You know, this at the back you have. You have Okay, like this at the back. That's the back. I was looking at the diagram. So, and you can do this. It's a bit advanced, it says, but you could do it because of the pocket. You can create a pocket. So it's nice. So this is a kind of um, waist coat. So this is it. This also, um, I was saw earlier, it's like a vest or waist coat, something like that. So, and you can see the pocket, the pocket is a bit um, uh, in size, like that, it's nice. It really looks good, it's really very good, very, very gorgeous. But it's also an advance, and it's 36 to 46, the size, yes. So, you can use uh, wool fabric to actually do this. You can use um, um, a bit of the warmer fabric that you can actually use for it. There are those fabric that I can use to make a uh, jacket. That you can use that some to for it. And then you can run it in because then when you are wearing it outside, you will not get that cold. Just go lining on that. All right. So that is um, that is that. So these are all the whole combination of 
I can combine them together. This is also very nice. Voila. It's very simple. It's a shirt. Uh, size 36 to 48. Beginner friendly um, shirt. You can use a form of um, stretchy fabric to actually make this. Behind neck. There's no button, no zipper, nothing. So it's very simple to actually make this. Alright. So this is also a very beautiful uh, dress that I actually like. It's not the beginner friendly pattern because you have um, a lot of uh, um, sewing here that you do, like uh, plated, something like that. Just sew it like that. I remember my oldest daughter actually gave me a pattern that has this design both front and back. So it's a lot of work on that. And at the end, with this, you have um, kind of a belt, you know, that you tie at, in the back. You see? So this is the front, kind of how I cover your, your neck area, and then you just tie it up there. So it's a kind of a circuitry uh, pattern. As you can see it here. So this is it. This is the, the style that we, we talked about earlier. But then with this now, you can tie it up at the back. See? But it looks nice though. You if you can manage to sew all this in front, then it is good to go. It's easy. Because the thing is that there's no zipper, there's no button, but tie just the work that you have to do. It's really very nice. Okay, so this is also um beautiful pants, yellow, with pockets the front um, area and uh, this is very nice so and the uh, white legs pants is very good so this size that uh, 36 to 48 is a bit advanced uh, advanced pattern so but you can do it you can actually try to do it so you can use 100 percent um, cutting fabric to actually make this and so this is a pattern of uh, rainy jacket. This is 36 to 46. Rainy jacket is fabulous. I don't really know the pattern that you use for those, but you can go to uh, your local fabric store and ask them for fabric that you that you need to make your rainy jacket. You can use something like 100% um, um, cotton. Something like cutting plus fully to actually do it. Well, I am not. I won't make um rainy jacket yet, so I don't really know what you can really just for that. But you can go to the store and ask for advice. But I will also uh, dress it to line it inside, so that you know when it is really wet, you can catch a little bit of cold. But when you line it or swirl, it will be nice, nice and warm inside. This is a very nice uh, short jacket. So this short jacket is very nice. You can see how it is. And this is what I mean actually. You can see the combination of the skirt, of the sweater, and the jacket on top. They really look good. It's not too busy because the, the sweater inside and the jacket, they are plain same color. So combined with this color is very nice. So I will wear it like that. Yeah, it's good. So this is all the color that was, that was presented. Right. Presented. Right. So this is it for today. So I um <clears throat> so I will say I'm very sorry for my throat. I still have issues with my with my sore throat. So I hope I recover very fast with this. All right. So I would say thank you very much. Thank you for your patience and um, thank you for watching this magazine with me actually. And thank you for your for the subscribers out there. Thank you so much. Please share my video. Practice. And if you see anything here, go ahead and buy the product and make something for yourself, your family, and anyone else you can make a business out of it if you want so it's up to you all right then so guys have a good day wherever you may be and i will see you next time
I need it. 